All right, everyone, we are back with a brand new Cabral concept. Love being able to bring you these case studies. And today is looking at your growth hormone levels. One of the reasons why this is so important, and really everyone should at least be thinking about it, or at least the understanding of what growth hormone does in the body, because oftentimes we show with these symptoms of fatigue, low mood, depression, muscle loss, bone loss, and we just attribute it to aging. And while that's true, that as we age, these hormones can begin to fall, we don't always know because we're not always told by our doctors that there's so much that we can do about it. So what I want to do right now is actually show you our chart on how growth hormone precipitously drops over the years. So I will link this up for you today. All you have to do is head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2330. stephencabral.com forward slash 2330. I will link up a PDF of this redacted lab. All that means is that we've taken away all of the private wellness client information, of course. And I'm going to link up also a growth hormone chart. So whether you run this with your doctor, naturopathic doctor, integrative health practitioner, through the IOBONE program, like however you want to do it, I want you to have the information. My job is to open source functional medicine for the world. That is how I look at it. I'm not the only one doing that, of course, but I'm trying to play my part. The more people we can have teaching this, the better. So if I can help tens of thousands of practitioners around the world and they can help millions of people while well, we are doing our job, right? So what I like to do is, um, yes, even children are producing growth hormone. Keep in mind the pituitary gland is going to help the body secrete growth hormone. We're just calling it IGF-1 today, insulin growth factor one. Um, that we're looking at over the ages. But what I want to do is I want to show you right around 12 years old, 13 years old, 14 years old, during puberty. So once you start to hit puberty, you're going to be at your highest levels of growth hormone production. That makes sense, right? So we're going to look at somewhere between like 12 years old and 22 years old, up to 25 years old. You're going to be producing your maximum amount of growth hormone. And then if you look at the chart, we see right around 30 years old, it begins to drop. And it begins to drop, as I said before, precipitously. And so meaning like you're, you're getting close by 40 years old to be in half. So at 40 years old, people are like, oh, you know, like everything started to fall apart at 40. Well, again, it doesn't have to be that way. We work with people in our practice that are in their 80s and 90s and even uh, one client 105 years old. So you have to understand is that um, not everyone is allowing those growth hormone levels to drop. And we do not prescribe growth hormone, nothing like that. There are natural ways that you're able to boost growth hormone. I have a bunch of podcasts on that. Those, of course, are free. I'm going to link them up today at 2330, stephencabral.com forward slash 2330. Uh, I'll link up those three podcasts on how, like what growth hormone is, why it's so important and how to boost it naturally. Um, so I think that'll be really, really helpful through lifestyle based modalities. All right. So we see a big drop, uh, certainly around 25 to 30. And then we see another drop around that 40 years old, right? So then at 45, we go below a max of 200. And, and then it kind of tapers off between 50 and uh, about over 70 years old. So our job is to make people feel like they're in their 30s again, and we can absolutely do that. Can we get people to maybe 18? I don't know. It depends on how you felt at 18. I didn't feel so good at 18, so certainly I feel better now than I did as a teenager, that's for sure. And so what I want to do now that we've kind of gone over that growth hormone chart, today's going to be a pretty quick case study because this is just one marker. Um, but of course, growth hormone doesn't live in a vacuum, right? So your growth hormone is affected by your overall um, stress levels. It's affected by so many different factors. And that's why lifestyle um, comes into a, a big, uh, as a big factor for all of these things. But I wanted to share with you at least a lab again that anybody can run right at home. At this lab, we actually give away for free as part of the IUBONE program. But again, you can run it with your integrative health practitioner level two, that naturopathic doctor, uh, even maybe your functional medicine doctor could run this as well. So there's one marker. How this lab is run is actually pretty simple. Um, just like if you take your blood sugar right at home, you just do a little finger poke and you take one drop of blood or a couple drops of blood, uh, but it's only one finger poke. That's why it says blood spot. And what you do is you actually just fill up uh, a little paper card. You wait for it to dry 
by, then you mail it to the lab, we get your results and we simply share those results with you. And then of course, a plan on how to improve it if, if needed, because again, you might be perfect. And so if you're perfect, well then, hey, you know, life is good, that's a good thing and you're just checking in to make sure that your body's optimal. But for this individual, if we look at their, of course, I took out all of their uh, different specifications, but this person's five foot three, 34 inch waist, 149 pounds, BMI of 26.4. Um, so, you know, pretty normal for the most part, body weight, pretty normal individual, this is a female. And, um, you know, so do we want to lower their BMI a bit? Sure. You know, we do overall. Uh, they are 62 years old. And the basal body temperature just means like, you don't have to do this on the lab, but you can take your body temperature in the morning. What's your body temperature? We want it in the 98s. Like, we just keep things simple. Could it be 98.6? Sure. Anything in the 98s is good. Uh, I just did a podcast. Is it debuting this week or did it debut last week? Um, you know what? We'll link it up today. That's what I'll do. Episode 2330. And it's going to be the signs of a slow metabolism. And so what I want to make sure is that you check out that show because if your body temperature is falling below, it's just one more sign of a slow metabolism. But again, that's neither here nor there because that is not today's episode. So when we look over this case study, we see that this individual, again, how old are they? Well, they are uh, 62 years old. All right, so their level is between 67, or their level is 67. Where should they be? Somewhere between 59 and 263, according to the lab's parameters. Now, again, if anyone in their later 60s is in the mid 200s, that's fantastic. We would love you to be in the high 190s, maybe even at 200. Again, if you're a little higher, naturally, we don't, again, we, we're not recommending growth hormone injections, anything like that. If you decide to go that route, that's something you're going to talk about with your doctor. Uh, but what we do is we want to balance that and boost that naturally. Why? Because people's growth hormone drops for specific reasons. It doesn't just fall out of the blue. It is the body breaking down over time. It's the body becoming more catabolic, more worn down, more run down. That's how these things happen. I have many, many shows on that as well. So this individual's basically as low as you can go. I mean, it really is. Now, you could be below normal, but this person is not just low normal, like low normal would be 90 to 100. This person is low, low normal. And that means that I, again, I don't know this individual. I haven't consulted with them, but I'm almost willing to bet. Well, again, I'm not a betting individual, but I would bet if I was that this person has disrupted sleep, that they may not have the best nutrition they'd like. Um, they're, they were or still are chronically stressed. Uh, they're not weight training at all, uh, that they're losing muscle mass. They're probably lower mood, lower libido, lower energy. That's probably kind of what they're feeling. And again, I've done this tens of thousands of times and my team has my team has done this hundreds of thousands of times that I've overseen. So we have a lot of data on this. So we would simply share that with a client and they would let us know, does that match up? Yes or no. And the nice thing is, although I redacted this whole lab, um, they would actually share their symptoms with us and we would see if these things are applicable. And then what we do is we simply devise a plan in order to help this individual boost their results. And we would do that just by making sure things like their vitamin D is optimal, their zinc's optimal, their um, vitamin C is optimal, their protein intake is optimal, they're getting enough anti-inflammatory based nutrition, that they are weight training a couple times a week, so that their sleep's optimized. So there's so many things you can do. Again, I, I wrote a book called The Rain Barrel Effect, hopefully you have a copy, and it literally outlines what we do. And then, so it's diet, exercise, stress reduction, toxin removal, rest, emotional balance, a scientifically based supplement protocols, and then it's a success mindset. And so what we do is we say, okay, well, if you're good in these areas, then you're good. We don't need to work on those things. Okay, so let's pull the levers in the other areas that's going to help boost these results. And then this person could retake this lab 12 to 16 weeks later. And again, if they're part of Ayer Bowen, they actually get this free, which is amazing. And then what you do is you just say, okay, have I now boosted it over 100 right? Within, the, within 12 to 16 weeks of being on a protocol. And if you have, then phenomenal. You're on the right track. You're moving in the right direction. And, and that's really what we're looking for. But you'll know even symptomatically, like even if you decide not to rerun the lab, what are you going to feel? We're going to feel the opposite of low growth hormone symptoms, right? So the opposite of low growth hormone symptoms would be, well, you feel like you're able to have more muscle tone. You have more energy, endurance, stamina, libido, better mood, um, 
overall sustained energy and all of the all of the things that you essentially want as you're aging. You want those anti-aging things. And so I would say growth hormone is one of the predominant, most important um, growth hormones to look at with aging. So if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, just running this, just to say, hey, where am I right now, uh, is a really nice lab to run. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of it. It's a single um, marker. It's super easy to run. And it gives you just one more data point. Again, is it the end-all be-all? No. No lab is the end-all be-all, but you use it as part of your overall story, your biomarkers. And if you're working with a good practitioner, they're going to be able to help you craft that as part of your overall plan. So, and that's truly what integrative health is all about. It's not saying that one thing is better than another, one lab's better than another, one form of medicine is better than another. What you really want to do is develop a truly holistic protocol, and you can do that the more that you know about your own personal data. And then, of course, you can always retest in the future to see, has this plan worked? Have I improved? And if so, phenomenal, I'm on the right track. And if I haven't, what other levers can I pull that I'm not currently doing in order to be able to improve further? So hopefully this was helpful. Again, I said that this would be a quick case study. It's only one biomarker. Uh, we're certainly going to uh, add this to our IHP level two based curriculum. Uh, and then I just want everybody to learn about these labs and that's the truth. So I can link up to this lab if you'd like. Uh, just go to steamcabal.com forward slash 2330. But um, truthfully, I hope you get it for free uh, as part of the Iobowen based program. And if you don't know what that is, we'll certainly link that up. And also, you can run this just with your local naturopathic doctor, uh, or you can go to integrativehealthpractitioner.org and just look at our practitioners. Um, they're not ours, they're their own independent practices. We just simply teach them. And then a level two would be able to help you with this as well. So again, just let us know how we can help. We are here for you, we appreciate you, and let me know what you thought in the comments. Take care.